And if you can have, if you're laying in bed, you can, uh, and you're unable to come out of the bed, you can always put your legs up. So um, you'll know who you are and you can always put something underneath the legs for centering in. So they're, they're just a little higher up so that the head of the femur bone can sink down into the socket. Beautiful. Nice. And for those of you that need a little bit more um, cushiness, a little bit more comfort, you can always put a blanket underneath you a little bit more. You can take the hands right behind the back of the skull and, and lift the head just a wee bit, lengthen it upwards, and then lower a few times, a little lift, a little length, and then lower. And maybe one more time. And if the chin is hiked up to the ceiling and the neck is exposed, then there's a tightness happening up and down the spine. So you might need to have a little roll in a blanket, like a, a soft little pillow, and go ahead and place that underneath the back of the skull. So the chin is coming in the direction of the heart center. So go ahead and rock the back of the skull just a wee bit. Nice and slowly. Feel the sensation in the neck, on the sides, the back, the collarbone. And then relax that effort. And as you relax, feel the shoulders sink down as the knuckles roll into the floor. The palms are soft. The eyes are closed. As you start to witness now and become that witness consciousness now. And what is that view like from the inside? through the shoulders? Does one feel a little higher than the other or are they sinking down into the floor? So here we are with the calves up onto a chair or a couch. The legs are a little higher than the torso for most of us. And you're feeling into the shoulders. From the shoulders all the way down into the pelvis. Feel the weight coming down. Notice how the muscles can loosen their grip bit by bit in this shape. They might have been able to hang on for a little while. Usually about five to ten breaths, about 30 to 60 seconds give the toes a little wriggle here and dive a little deeper now into the breath and notice what it's like to inhale nice and full and deep through the nose. And out through the nose or the mouth. Option to bring your palms right onto the belly so you can feel the belly rise and fall. Set your intention now for your practice. If there's any discomfort in the body, 
Maybe bring that into your mind's eye to send a little healing. If there's anyone in your family, in your community, or a story you've heard in the world where you'd love to send a little love, a little light, a little healing to, go ahead and breathe that essence in. We don't have to know names. That pure intent of offering outward. And with our perspective a little upside down here, we're going to come into alignment breath. And notice if it's a struggle. Um, those of you that love alignment breath, you'll know once we get into it. Notice the difference when we're a little upside down. So two cleansing breaths before we start. Go ahead and invite that next inhale all the way in and up. A light little pause filled with breath. And then exhale it all out, a natural sigh. One more just like that. Inhale, a light little pause. Then exhale it all out. Then come into a soft ujjayi breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Notice if nasal breathing is available today. Are there any obstacles in the way, any congestion that you can feel and sense? If it agitates the body big or small, you can leave it off to the side, breathe any which way that feels good, and then revisit it. And notice if there's any subtle shifts. Come into our, our Jalabanda, this one right at our, our throat lock, or sometimes called the chin lock. So feel that breeze at the back of the throat. It's right there. Notice how it naturally constricts the breath. And then we'll come just a little higher through the middle of the brain, maybe about six inches above the crown, a brightening, a connection point. Just notice what color it might feel like in effervescence, this light, this connection. Take a few breaths into that. Then we'll drop our awareness down, which might feel up to you, below the feet. Again, about six inches or so. For you, you might even carry it all the way into the core of the earth through your inner eyes. You can imagine anchoring it there. And what are the colors? Those oranges and reds and yellows. And now we'll marry the breath with this now. On your next natural inhale, float your awareness down and through the legs, all the way through the feet to your earth star. As you fill as you exhale <laughs> and you let that breath flow out and empty the lungs, awareness through the body all the way up through the crown. And if your inner eyes won't go there, that's okay. Inhaling down might be your mantra. 
exhaling up. Floating all the way up. Take your time inhaling, feeling the energy centers of the body start to spin in all directions, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. You might even sense the colors of the rainbow start to one melt into the other as we breathe like this. A soft Ujjayi breath as you inhale, down, word. And as you exhale, all the way up. Just a handful more breaths, just like this. Filling up all the way down, our awareness flows. Exhaling all the way up. Two more breaths, just like that. Last one, as you inhale, feel that stream move down. As you exhale, all the way upward. As you dive into your natural breath, pause upward. Allow your awareness to float through the brow to where you feel the back of the skull. Come inward where you think the middle of the brain is. That laser beam connection, the top of one ear to the other, through the brow to the back of the skull. Find that intersection and notice what you feel there. The colors, the shapes, the sensations. Then go ahead and on your next breath, let the heels start to slide towards you so that the thighs come in towards the belly one at a time. Let the heels rest and the hands rest into the thighs. And from here, Feel now the toes, a light little paddle of the toes while the heels rest on the cushion. And you can feel the toes paddle. Leave the hands in the thighs and flex one foot more. Send the other foot like a floint. So feel the meaty part underneath the toes. And you might even feel the, the toes move away from each other. And then alternate softly. The heels stay on the chair. And a floint is in between a flex and a point. So you feel a little press through the meaty part of the toes. Just right there at the bottom of the toes. For one more. The toes that are up and that foot that is flexed where the toes are towards your nose, lift that heel up and feel the heel on the chair. Press it down while the other one presses up. Feel those opposing forces and paddle the foot on top that's nice and long and strong. Lengthening up, up, up. 
And then go ahead and bend that knee down. Flex the other foot, send it up. Press down through the heel that's on the chair. Press up through the heel. And then paddle that foot. Feel the long and strong leg. Just like a forward fold. Like this. We'll be forward folding today. Um, and it's nice to start in a supine where our backs are comforted. And it, they can really sink into the floor. And now both legs come up. You might have guessed that. So the heels can come upward, toes towards your nose. And the legs can rest on the chair if that feels better. Or they can be like a stacked where the ankles are over the knees, knees over the hips. So there's some effortless effort there. Hands rest on the thighs. Take a deep breath right there. And as you exhale, let the knees bend and the feet come down. Walk the feet over to the edge of the chair and let them come down to the floor. From here, you can move the chair or you can come up from the chair, whichever is best to come flat. So with the knees bent, feet on the floor, lengthen through one leg at a time and let the toes have a little wriggle. Notice the targeted area now, the hip sockets all the way to that lower spine. You might notice a broadening and a widening of that area, a weight. There might be a lot of sensation. Feel all the way down both legs to the heels. And then pick one leg and feel from the toes through the shin to the knee, through the upper thigh, all the way into the hip. And then notice the other side, the top of the leg, the hip, through the knee, all the way through that shin to the toes. Feel that in, internal landscape all the way through the torso, the shoulders, landing in the middle of the brain once again. A deep breath there. And we're going to come into our side body now. So go ahead and bend up at the knees. Drag the hips over to one side. Roll to the other. And we're going to come into side crunch. With the top leg resting on the bottom leg, head resting on that lower arm, reach the top arm up, word, towards the ceiling. Feel the elbow of that top arm, like someone's uh, pulling it up so that you can sense and feel the shoulder socket, that upper shoulder. And then coil that arm around the crown so that the fingers can touch the lower ear, lift the head, and then take that lower arm outward. It doesn't have to be straight. Lower the head so that the knuckles are your new pillow. And take a few breaths here and notice, do you need something underneath those knuckles? Is this okay for your body? So take care of yourself where you are here. Make sure that sh lower shoulder you're not putting up with. Yes, you'll have heightened sensation in this shape, 
This might even be enough. As you take that next inhale, lengthen that top hip down. Feel no, all that sensation of pulling that hip down as you pull the upper elbow up. Feel and notice those opposing forces. And as you exhale, relax and soften. Maybe two more times like that. Feel the hip move down. Elbow up. Fill up. And as you empty the lungs, relax and soften. And one more. Now go ahead and inhale, lengthen that edge. As you exhale, press the inner knees and lift that top ankle, lift the head. Pause there and feel the muscles responsible. Inner knees stay connected and then lower. Rest. Feel and sense this shape now. And then we'll do that a couple more times. As you inhale, lengthen, elbow away from hip. Exhale, lift the head, varying degrees, maybe different angles as you press the inner knees and lift that upper ankle. You pause and then you lower. As you find the floor rest, Take a breath, and we'll do that one more time. Find that inhale and lengthen, top edge. As you exhale, lift and point that top elbow towards the heel as it lifts. Feel that connection. As you lower, let your top elbow roll back, roll on the back of your head, Undo and come into a bent knee soma scan. So let yourself scan the body. Heel toe your feet a wee bit wider. The inner knees can knock. The palms can rest on the lower belly or floor. And notice what you're made of now. From one hip to the other. From one shoulder to the other. Feel the outer edge of one side. Then the other side. Dive through the middle of the brain. Take a deep breath. Exhale it all out. Let's drag those hips to the other side. And let's come into side crunch, just like that. Waking up the side body so that we're wide awake internally here. As you reach up through that top arm, feel the elbow reach more like someone's pulling it up. You'll feel the head of the, the, the shoulder lift, then coil it around the crown. Fingers touch that bottom ear so that the lower arm can come outward. And feel now the knuckles come into the floor and that relationship with the lower shoulder. Is it okay? Knowing pain is not an option. So you might need a little pillow on this side where you didn't need it on the other. So we'll move through this practice, pouring just a little bit more self-love into our creative movement here. So taking care of ourselves. On your next natural inhale, feel the top elbow come upward and that top hip downward. And then relax and notice what does this side feel like? Does it feel like its mobility will go forever? 
Maybe it got the memo. One side will speak to the other. Each inhale, you lengthen the elbow away from the hip. Each exhale, you relax and soften down. So how about one more just like that? Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, relax and soften. We'll come right into it now. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, feel those inner knees press. As you lift the ankle, lift the head a little or a lot. Let it feel delicious. You pause up and then you lower. Let yourself rest. In this variation, we rest in between, not continually moving. So you can feel and sense, can the body rest in this shape? Then take another inhale when you can. Lengthen the hip away from the elbow. As you exhale, lift the head as you squeeze the knees and lift that ankle. Point the elbow in any direction. Notice your rest and how you can breathe. And then one more just like that. Inhale, lengthen hip away from elbow. Exhale, squeeze those inner knees and lift. Point the elbow towards the heel. As you come down, take that upper elbow back, feel it carry the head back, and let yourself come all the way onto your back with the legs now nice and splayed out so that you can feel what flat is like now from one heel to the other, to the calves, through the back of the legs, all the way to the sit bones, the lower spine to the shoulders. And take another breath just like that. We're going to come into the side body through banana sana now. So gravity is gonna do most of the work. We'll start with the right foot coming outward. So leave the sit bones glued to your mat. They don't move. And let the right foot drag outward. So with the sit bones glued, let the left leg follow. And then take the right leg over the left ankle, like a weight. The arms can remain down or outward. Or if you'd like to involve them in this pose, go ahead and bring them up more so that you hang on to the, the wrists. I was going to say ankles, <laughs> your other ankles. <laughs> and here the legs are out to your right. So go ahead and drag that left wrist over to the right so that the elbow crease is closer to the crown. You can inchworm yourself by pressing into the floor and moving the head a little bit to that right side so that you feel like a ripe um, banana <laughs> or a half moon shape. Once you feel about a um, maybe a 3.5 out of 10, if you've been living in discomfort um, or pain, if you've had a lot of freedom in the body and you've been feeling relatively um, pain-free, maybe a 6 out of 10, something that you can breathe into, where you can relax through the jaw more. When the eyes are closed, we're not pressing. 
You might even feel a tremble coming down through the shoulders, the arms, for some. Especially if we've been carrying a little tension, known or unknown. All mammals shake when releasing tension. We'll do a couple rounds of orbital breath now. So carry your awareness all the way down to the feet. On your next inhale, that arcing side, come up that lengthening side. So all the way up the left side, and then all the way down that right side that's having that beautiful squeeze. Inhale all the way around. And then exhale down to the feet. And one more just like that. If the arms are up, let them reach like a yawn upward and undo. They can come down first by the belly. Undo the top leg and let that bottom leg drag to your new center without looking. Any adjustments are welcome. Just feel and notice now the toes wriggle. Feel one edge of the body all the way up and the other edge of the body. Notice the tingling, the sensations. And one more breath just like that. And we'll come right over to the other side and remind yourself that the sit bones remain heavy. Drag the left leg out. Right leg follows, left leg, that ankle, anchor it right over that right ankle. And then feel that for a moment. Let the body adjust. One side might be very different than the other. Feeling now the arms might come upward, hanging on to that right wrist. Dragging it over towards the crown. That might be enough for a breath, two or three. You might want to come into the right banana shape more by dragging the head over to that left. Then dragging the arm with it. Wherever you are, a deep breath. Relax through that jaw. Feel the eyelids nice and soft. Shoulders heavy on the floor. Hips all the way down through the legs. Nice and heavy. Feeling safe, supported. Let's come into a few rounds of orbital breath when you're ready. Anchor your attention on the feet. On your next inhale, breathe all the way up that nice and long arcing side. Through the crown, exhale down the other side, the left. Inhaling up that right side. Take your time. Feel all the details. Exhaling all the way through that other side that has the hug. Filling up, allowing the breath to move you. 
Exhale, we surrender into this shape just a little more. Two more breaths just like that. Last one. Go ahead and let the arms come up first like a yawn when you're ready. The head can drag back. Top leg lifts and that bottom heel drags to your new center. Knuckles heavy. And sense and feel what you have now. Breathe into all those subtle sensations of the side body. Feeling all the way through the crown, the shoulders, and the other side. You can circle the body through your awareness, the outer edges. Dive through the brow and send a little love. Fill that space. Breathe into it. And one more breath just like that. Go ahead and bend one knee and then the other. Drag the hips to one side. As you roll to the other, press into the floor and come on up. This is where um, we're going to do a little cat and cow, but we're going to need our strap eventually. So go ahead and grab your strap and have it by you. And then come on to your, um, your hands first and then your four. So your knees are underneath your hips. Your forearms come down and we'll come into cat and cow like this. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, let the head hang round the spine. Inhale, a crescent shape back bend. Exhale, round. One more, just like that. Then go ahead and come up. And now come into um, like where our legs are. This one's called caterpillar in Indian. And so um, the feet, the legs will be close to each other where the inner big toes can touch, but the heels don't have to. That's the alignment for this one. It's super nice to have your bolster or um, something like a blanket. So you can roll a blanket and have that ready for underneath your legs. And if you are sinking back, then have something underneath the sit bones to elevate so that you come naturally forward. And then bend the knees. This is where you need your strap. Go ahead and bring that strap on the toe mounds underneath the toes, your transverse arch. Rock the sit bones. You can walk them back. Oh, and I haven't said this one for a long time since class. Um, those tail feathers, like taking the tail feathers out so that the sit bones come back or lifting the gift. <laughs> 
And then you've captured your, your toes here. You can even give the, the hands a little swirl in the strap, widen through the fingers, and then hang on just to lessen what's going on in the arms. Close the eyes once you can, and then give a little pull back through the bicep. Notice the chest muscles, the heart can come forward, shoulders back. Feel the heels, they naturally might feel like they're pressing down. And then relax that effort. Walk the heels a little bit forward, a half an inch maybe. Press back to you. Feel again the shoulders broaden and widen. Heart center gently moves forward. Eyes are closed. Feel the muscles squeeze and then release. So now this time, let legs come down. So some of you will love to have the hamstrings come down the back of the legs all the way to the heels come down and it feels like heaven on earth. For others, not so much. So wherever you are now, give a little press back through the toes. They press into the strap. You feel the shoulders broaden and widen. Notice what you feel and then relax. This is the yin part of it. You come forward. So this is where you can bring your bolster right in between the knees, forehead on top, or it can be down on medium, small, Or maybe for you, it's better to have something underneath the legs and then let yourself fall forward. You can rest the head on something or let it hang. Notice what you feel through the whole back body in this one. So this stimulates the kidneys. Chinese herbology and Chinese medicine, directly if we look at the kidneys, we directly look after our, our heart, our circulation. So feel now for a moment where you think the kidneys live. The back of the rib cage, let it expand for just two or three more breaths here. Relax through the jaw. And then one more breath, just like that. And then walk the hands <clears throat> up the legs. From there, go ahead and take your bolster out. Give a little drum roll of the back of the legs. And then come on up facing your um, chair so that the chair is in front of you. And some of you might not um, need the chair to get up, but um, it's really nice to come into for now. Just if you have someone in your life that you might want to uh, show them this. So let the hips sway for a moment from one side to the other. If coming down on your wrists is too much, you bring the hands into the chair and sway. From there, take your strongest leg. I'm going to bring my right leg forward. Right in front, if you have one of these chairs that fold, right in front of the leg, the hands are flat, nice and flat down. Let yourself take a deep inhale and feel the heart rise. As you exhale, lunge into that knee coming outward so from the chair. Feel the back toes 
into the floor, lift that back leg and hop it to the foot forward. And then just take a pause there and a little bit more forward, a little bit more until you can stand up. And here we'll come into a standing um, soma scan, so a body scan. So this is Tadasana, mountain pose. And we're making it, we're having it, our awareness float all the way down through the body. So if the eyes can close, or look down the bridge of the nose, downward. So the eyes are just a little bit open. Let yourself sway to the toes, like you're looking over a cliff, and back to the heels. Over to one side, and then the other. And then relax and soften where you feel your center is through those big toe mounds, all the way up the inseam of the legs, the front of the spine, heart center, back of the throat, through the middle of the brain as we connect. And one more breath, just like that. We'll come into our forward fold standing. So if you have an empty wall, you can come into and turn the um, chair towards you. Or if you don't have an empty wall, no problem. Just come into your couch. You do not need the wall. But if you have both, please do. So this is wall hang. It's so nice for your blood pressure, your nervous system. So wherever you are, if you are on the wall, you lean into it, eyes are closed. Bend both knees, leave the sit bones on the wall, they never leave. Walk your hands down towards the knees to your chair and place both hands down. So this is where some, you will know if you need to raise the chair to you. You can bring a bolster on top, a blanket, a stack of blankets, and then bring one forearm down, cross them so they feel like they're stacked and bring your forehead right on top of that stack. Notice your sit bones on the wall and start to walk them upward. So walking them up the wall a little bit, just until you feel a little bit maybe in the hamstrings in this forward fold. Knees are bent. One more breath, just like that. Then let the head come up, walk up, walk your hands all the way up and paste your back body all the way onto the wall. The palms can come together wherever you are in the room. The thumbs at the sternum with a press. Breathe into that spaciousness now. The lungs will drop in as we open up the rib cage. And one more breath, just like that. And we'll do another one here. So I'll represent this in the middle of the room now with the chair. So away from the wall. So go ahead and now let the head be heavy first. Walk the hands down. Go ahead and bring one forearm down and then the other. The head can hang, knees are bent generously. Heel toe your feet as wide as you think a mat is. 
So nice and broad and wide coming into the pelvis. It loves that. And a light little sway. So let the pelvis sway now. The head can hang and rest. And then come to center, bend those knees on your next breath, press through the hands. Slowly walk up the thighs, all the way up. Bring the feet hip distance, palms together, thumbs at the sternum. Take a deep inhale there. Exhale it all out. Now I'll represent not having the, the, the chair. So coming into a supported forward fold here. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, chin to chest, bend the knees. Walk the hands down. Bring the elbows to the knee, or right top of the knees. And then heel toe your feet just a wee bit wider. The head can hang. Very softly now, feel that connection of where the elbows are into the knees and a light little lift off there. It can be super light, almost not even leaving the knees. So you can feel the back muscles, the the tush, the back of the thighs, all those muscles squeeze, and then let yourself come back, head heavy. Let's do one more like that. The elbows might have lift off from the legs, maybe a little or a lot, and then you come back. Walk yourself up those thighs all the way up, 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 up. Come into that Soma scan for a moment with the eyes closed or looking down the bridge of the nose. Hands on the top of the thighs or the sides. Come to the toes, the heel, from one edge of the feet to the other. Find your center. Take a deep breath there. And ha. So here we come down. Whatever leg you came up with, let the other one come to the side of the chair where, where you were on that other side of the chair. Now it's the other side. So I'm going to have my left leg there, hands on the chair. Back knee bends, come all the way down so that you can come right back to your starting position where the calves can rest in our Shavasana on the chair. Use your blanket as a blanket or you might like a, it as a weight on the pelvis. And if you have a bolster, you might even want to experience that. A weight on the, on the pelvis, if you can. Arms by your side. A little rock at the back of the skull. And allow yourself to sink and soften into the floor as you let go. Notice how the body is now. Beautiful. A poem 
from Wee Moon from Wally Molly Reamer <laughs> from Molly Reamer to awake be to awake for there are lakes of longing within you and you know how to swim let the greening earth glow beneath you let your buried power rise and breathe for it is being too awake that you will know yourself as whole here be too awake even if it's the only thing you have left to be be too awake for there are lakes of longing within you and you know how to swim let the greening earth glow beneath you let your buried power rise and breathe for it is in being too awake that you will know yourself as whole here be too awake even if it's the only thing you have left to be Allow the breath to deepen here and your awareness gently softly rise. The legs can gently come off of the chair, the wall, the couch. Rest in your side body there and feel in fetal position. A little pat on the back for simply showing up and giving yourself this gift. Use your strength now to press into the floor as you connect to that inner smile. Let that warmth flood in as you use the blanket and all your support all around you. You might have to bring something underneath the sit bones to bring you up just a little higher. The knees don't have to bend. The palms can come together. Feel that warmth. That gentle appreciation towards yourself. Take the thumbs, a light little press into the sternum, the heart center. Feel that support. And then take a breath into it. A light little bow here as we pour all of this kindness out to all namaste and thank you for your practice